All right, welcome to this lesson, 2.5 concept guide on perpendicular lines. Hey, I just realized that my uh, lava lamp is behind me. I know a lot of you like to be distracted by that sometimes. I hope it doesn't distract you here now. Uh, but let's, let's just continue and do the best we can. So what does perpendicular mean? I bet it's a word you've heard. When two line segments or rays are perpendicular, um, that happens if and only if they intersect to form right angles or 90 degree angles. It can take a couple different forms. Um, well, the symbol for perpendicular is like an upside down capital T. When you see this, it means perpendicular. It will mean, that, therefore, that there's right angles. Um, if it looks like this, well, um, if those two segments, they could be rays um, as well, but if they're perpendicular, what that means is there's a right angle. It's that simple. Um, if you have a ray or a segment popping out of a line or a segment or a ray like this, now we have two right angles. Okay? So we can, that's, a, that's what we know for a fact. And if you have two line segments or rays that are intersecting, we have four right angles. So depending on how many intersections, just think about the, when you're driving and uh, when you get to different intersections of roads, uh, there's different ways you can turn. There's either one, two, or three right angles that gets formed whenever lines are perpendicular. All right, so one way that this um, pops up here, um, if with the angle addition postulate, two adjacent acute angles form perpendicular sides, then the two angles are complementary. So look at our example here. If AB is perpendicular to AC, well, that means then that angle BAC is a right angle. That also means that the two angles that make up the big angle, the part plus the part equal the whole, uh, because they add up to equal 90, then they're complementary. The definition of complementary is that they add up to equal 90. But we get to get to have that, um, yeah, that conclusion. So some questions that we'll see here. It will tell us that there's perpendicular lines. Without that statement, we have no idea what this angle is, but because it says that, we know that there's a right angle there. As a result, angles 1 and 2, they're complementary. They add up to equal 90. So therefore, we can plug in the items, and you may notice that there might have been a typo on your piece of paper. You'll want to change that. Um, and then we get x is equal to 13. If I plug in 13, I would get that angle 1 is actually equal to 65, and angle 2 ends up equaling 25, which, of course, add up to equal 90. Perfect. All right, you try. See what you can do with this example over here. Pause the video. All right, you should have determined that the answer is 30. Hopefully that was the case. All right, let's continue. Um, here's a special case. Um, I got the same diagram going on with some different information given. Uh, let's see what happens here with example two. Here, PY is perpendicular to XR. That means I get right angles there. Um, XA is perpendicular to XT, which means I also get right angle there. Now, given that this is 40 degrees, well, angles 1 and 2 are complementary because of angle PXR being 90 degrees because of the perpendicular lines there, so that's, I get 50. And then because AXT is a right angle, thanks to those perpendicular lines, well, then angle 3 is also 50. And then finally, our XY is a 90 degree angle, so therefore angles 3 and 4 are also complements, and therefore is, um, that last angle 4 is 40. Works all the way around there. But what if it only tells us that PY is perpendicular to XR, here in example 3? Well, that means I got these right angles here, but it does not mean that angle AXT is a right angle. So when angle, four, or angle 2 is equal to 40, I can figure out that angle 1 is equal to 50, but those aren't complements. I don't know what angle 3 is here. I don't know what angle 3, and therefore I don't know what angle 4 is. I do know that they are complements. I know they add up to equal 90, but I don't know specifically what they are from the information that's given. What if it's the other way? Well, if XA is perpendicular to XT, well then, there's my right angle. Okay? That's not a right angle. I don't know that that is a right angle. So when angle 
2 is equal to 40. I do know that angle 3 is equal to 50. But what's angle 1 or what's angle 4? Well, because I don't know that's the right angle, I don't know what those are. I know that they're complementary, actually, because they all have to, all of these have to add up to equal 180. So what's left there is 90, but I don't know what they are. Um, we'll see some examples like that as we progress. And finally, what happens if we put um, some of these things together? Well, in this example, I have this diagram, a bunch of lines and rays um, intersecting. It tells me that line ST is perpendicular to ray BE. Therefore, I know for a fact that I got some 90 degree angles. Then it also tells me the angle PBT is 55 degrees. With that information alone in this diagram, I can now find out what every single angle in this diagram is. For example, that's 90 degrees. Angle SBE is 90 degrees. Well, I knew that because of the perpendicular part. These two angles are complements thanks to angle EBT equaling 90 degrees. So I get that that's 35. Um, I have this straight angle here. So angle PBT and angle TBM, those are a linear pair. They form that line together. So they're supplements, 55 plus 125. And then finally, I got, well, for several reasons, but I'm going to talk about these being vertical angles. Angle PBT and angle SBM are vertical angles formed by those two lines. That's 55 degrees. That's all, those are also supplements for the same reason as that was a, those were supplements. These two angles are supplements. So I get that that's 55. And then it asked me for angle EBM. Well, I can angle addition postulate that guy and get 90 plus 55 is 145 degrees. All right, you try these guys over here. And uh, yeah, I'll see how you do. We'll talk about it in class. Um, have a great rest of your day and get some rest. Okay, bye.